Um, I planted three seeds in each pot for the bonsai trees. And look at how cute they are. If you're new here, I am Jess, and today I am so excited. So, Homegrown is a company that sells these seed starting kits, and they sent me a bunch of fun things. What they sent me were the heirloom herb gardens, um, the cactus and succulent one, and then a bonsai tree seed starting kit, which these look so fun. So on the side of the boxes, they actually show what they come with. So this one is cilantro, chives, basil, parsley, and mint. Sorry, <laughs> I had to catch up to where I was. Um, and it actually comes with the pots themselves, little tags showing when you started them, um, and the, oh, let's see, peat starter herb growing pots, the plant markers, and the soil. And then there's the sewing and growing tips booklets and nutrition packs. And I think all of them come with the same stuff. So this is the succulent one, and it comes with a mixed cactus variety and a mixed succulent variety. Um, a lot of the succulents are things like agaves or aloes, um, yuccas in there, which will be really fun. Some of the cactus have barrel cactus, prickly pear, uh, different things like that. So I'm really excited to try that one. And then the bonsai also comes with all those same things, but it shows you which seeds that this came with. Look how fun those bonsai trees are. But let's start off with the herb garden because I think that's going to be my most successful one. Not that the other two won't be successful. Um, I'm hoping they set me up for success, but I also just feel more comfortable with these ones. It comes with these pots, okay, um, which are very pretty pots. They're a plain white. Um, they're kind of speckled, but they, they'll look good in um, the decor. They also come with little drainage trays. All the pots have drainage holes already pre-drilled in them. And then look how cute these little tags are. Isn't that adorable? Um, they're wooden. I think that'll be so much fun. And then let's see here. Here are all of the seeds. This is the nutrition pack um, that I'll find out more on later. But they're all labeled and there's actually like quite a few seeds per package. So it actually does send you dirt, which is interesting. Well, peat soil. Um, they're in these little compact discs. And so it just says to add it to a large bowl. And then it tells you specifically how much water to add. And then you just let it sit until it's saturated and expanded. So back to the herbs. Um, I went and grabbed some plastic wrap. Um, and then let's see here. So the instructions after... Um, the soil is completely loose. It says to add the nutrition pack and mix thoroughly. So this is the little nutrition pack. Um, it says kelp nutrition. No used that before, but we're just following the instructions. And then I think you're supposed to mix it in. And then I'll fill up all of these planters three-fourths of the way filled um, with gently tapping the soil down, just like I would plant any other seed. Okay, well, so then with these, it's, I mean, you guys have probably planted seeds before. If you haven't, this is a really good kit for kind of introducing you to it. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and plant these in, um, just making little indents with this little pick. Uh, I did save quite a bit of space from the top just so that uh, there's enough room uh, for them to grow a little bit under the plastic wrap before I need to remove that and that's really important and so let's just plant them up and then I will check back with you guys in maybe a week or two we'll see how long it takes um, and I'll show you the progress all right so with the succulent and cacti seed kit um, it does come with a little bit of gravel and it still comes with the kelp nutrition pack I'm just waiting for the dirt to kind of absorb 
the water. Um, and it did come with a much more in-depth and detailed planting guide. Same with the bonsai. Um, it came with some more descriptions about the plants, I guess. Um, but it doesn't look like I will be using this until later. Um, I think it's part of their drainage. But I'm just going to be planting these up. Um, I'm just going to be sprinkling the seeds on top if they're small and so like these ones I'll probably barely cover because they're just really little and then with these ones they're huge succulent seeds from what I'm used to so I'm, I'm guessing that's just like the agave or aloe or whatever um, they're bigger plants but these I will probably be burying just a little bit so that um, you can I guess actually cover them with a lot of my echeverias I just sprinkle on top because they need the light to germinate. Uh, with these larger ones I probably will bury a little bit more. But anyway I will check back with you guys. I'm going to have to mess with this over throughout the night. It's getting pretty late so I'm just going to plant these up. You guys won't really need to see that anyway. Um, and I will check back in once we have growth. 